The video ends when I find a shiny for every color of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. No sparkling power and no outbreaks. It was just me and my trusty shiny charm. And also some encounter power too, Sammies. Go. And I have to say, I had some amazing luck during this challenge, but you'll just have to wait and see. So for the first hunt, I figured why not go for the most iconic red shiny, Gyarados, with a flying type encounter sandwich. Because yes, for some reason, this Pokemon is a flying type. Also, at this point, I decided to do something even more difficult than this challenge. For every sandwich I make, I was forcing myself to put on the top piece of bread. I know, I'm a madman. And in the direct center of this laggy lake, Lots of scrimp appear, like just a plethora of big scrimps. Oh, wow. <laughs> Three minutes into the boost. So I brought its health down to orange and put it to sleep. The missile is very tired. He is EP. And it still gave me a bit of trouble, but eventually it was caught in the very appropriate Pokeball. And you won't believe what I had to say about it. Take a listen. Red. Riveting. And after catching this really big shrimp, there was about 25 minutes left on the flying boost. Plenty of time to attempt a different color. So I went to Glacedo Mountain, where you can find a club of penguins. Watch out, they got their hard hats on and might tip the iceberg. Yes, that was a joke about Disney's hit 2005 online game Club Penguin. Thank you, I'll be here all video. But I'm not gonna attempt to say its name as it's shown here on screen. Not because I think it's hard to pronounce, but I've always said it one way, and I've never heard it differently until sorta recently, so I'm curious. Without me saying it, comment below between these two phonetic pronunciations. Anyways, the rest of the flying boost dwindled down with no purple burb. So I made another sandwich and tried again. And then... Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what we're looking for. Unfortunately though, Pink Weasel is not part of the rainbow. Although it does have a bit of orange in it, but that doesn't count. So I kept looking, and a little while later, I found what I was looking for. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so that was a lie. Not actually what I was looking for, but a random shiny that does count. Since it's a nice blue toothpaste snow cone. Well, I mean, I guess it's not exactly blue, but like, come on, Shoddy, it counts. But moving on. I figured I had spent enough time looking on Glacedo Mountain, and I wanted a change of scenery, so I went over to the desert with a grass encounter sandwich. Because here you can find Cacnea, which turns orange. Oh, wow. Once again, not the shiny I was looking for, but another color of the rainbow. What are the chances of that? I don't know, probably 50-50. Either it happens or it doesn't. Oh, But don't worry, I saved. And unfortunately, there isn't really a great type of ball for yellow. So, uh, Ultra Ball. And with this spicy little pepper, we now have half hour, okay, chill out for a second, half hour rainbow done. So now it was time to get an orange shiny. And you know what they say about orange shinies? Bugs. Okay, no one has ever said that. But there are two, count them, two, orange colored shiny bug Pokemon in the olive fields. But which of these two will appear for me? Well, only time will. Oh, yes. Little fella, little man. And similar to yellow, there isn't a great ball for orange Pokemon. So when in doubt, premiere it out. Next was green. So I made a sandwich. Pretend you didn't see that and started hunting. For some reason, the monkeys love hanging out near all these windmills. Just not a green one, because it didn't show up after 30 minutes. So I made another sandwich, and 20 minutes later... Oh, yes! You know, in a situation like this, one might be inclined to say something like, Oh, I don't know, Green Gang? And the nest ball just goes perfectly with this shiny. And with this little fella, there was just one shiny left to catch. Now, there's plenty of purple shinies, but I knew exactly which one I wanted. Um, actually, hold on a second. That one's not purple. Shut up. I 
don't care. That's the one I want. A different burb this time. So I made a dark sandwich and drove in the grass right outside Zapapico. And like I said, I was pretty lucky during this challenge. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. My real purple bird. And this one has a cool hat. Epic. What wasn't epic is that Murkrow just really didn't feel like getting caught. You see, what's unfortunate about using Premier Balls is that they suck. And at level 21, I couldn't believe Are we that joking? I needed to put this burb to sleep. <laughs> so my handy dandy toad man came out. But hey, that's just how it be sometimes. The missile is very tired. He is eepy. The missile is eepy. Are you kidding me? Wow. wow. I was eventually able to get it. And with this, we have now completed the shiny <laughs> rainbow. Sparkle, sparkle. And I guess that's where our story ends for the day. Bye. Except, what if it didn't? What if we do it again? That's right, it's a double rainbow. Oh my god. I mean, you were probably able to tell that since we're only like halfway through this video. So, round two. There was still 16 minutes left on the dark encounter boost from the Murkrow hunt. So I went to the Inlet Grotto, where you can find puppers. What the dog doing? And sometimes that pupper is blue. Oh, there's an imposter among us. And we're already one sixth of the way there. Next, I made another bug sandwich because there's a round bug that turns red. And on the way to where this round boy spawns, this happened. Oh my God, oh my God, wow. The Ultra Ball actually goes too perfect. And just mere moments after Hound Hour, we are now a third of the way done. Clearly, I've been getting pretty lucky during this challenge. I've only had one chunk of bad luck looking for Deli Bird. Also, yes, that's how I say it. But that was less than an hour of searching. And I found two random shinies while hunting. I wish I could say this next hunt went the same. Because after that Luxio, I spent a long time trying to get a red shiny. I spent two hours looking for Tarantula, then decided to change it up and spent an hour looking for Rotom, which also didn't go well. So I went back to Tarantula for an hour, then another hour at Rotom, and eventually made my way back to Tarantula, where this happened. <gasps> yes. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Is hanging around. And since it's just hanging around, we gotta throw something at it. Which I think is pretty funny because then you watch it fall. And obviously, since it looks like a Pokeball, I caught it in one. After that long hunt, we were now halfway done with our second rainbow. Which was of course followed up by orange. Which I actually had a really hard time deciding what to hunt. I started off in the desert with a ground encounter sandwich, looking for... But there were way more Fampy, and I know if I found a shiny Fampy, I could just evolve it, but I felt like that kind of took away from the challenge. I mean, the point is to find a shiny of that specific color. So I moved on and made a fighting sandwich. Son of a No, no, no. Okay, third time's the charm. These cherry tomatoes are always so difficult and went to Larry Land. And I figured it wasn't a good choice, since there's way more primates than Shroomish and Breloom. Although, I did find both of those in my last video. Go watch that. So I switched to an electric sandwich to start looking for Pikachu, which is kinda orange, I guess? And then I had a genius idea. Why hunt Pikachu, who is maybe orange, when I can hunt Raichu, who is definitely orange? So that's what I did, in my favorite area of the game. And not too long later. Oh. Then green, which again, I had a really hard time deciding what Pokemon to go for. I spent my remaining time with Encounter Electric from Raichu looking for a Jolteon, which didn't go well. Then my next sandwich for Applin, which I have to say has to be one of the worst hunts to do with Encounter Power 2. They only spawn in trees, and it's just awful. Your best way to hunt it is by using Let's Go and just letting your Pokemon murder them. High octane gameplay. So then I made a poison sandwich and started looking for Grimer. You know, Grimer kind of reminds me of Grimace. Happy birthday, Grimace. Yeah, so Grimer didn't shine, but I made a fairy sandwich after to look for Pika Blue, 
And on the fourth, different hunt for green. Oh, yes, wow. More like Pika Green. Ha ha ha. I'll see myself out. Green Gang. And once again, we were down to the final shiny of the challenge. But for real this time. And for once, I knew exactly what I wanted to hunt. Another pupper. Again with a dark sandwich. Right by the ruins near Cortando. There's plenty of pup- Ooh, Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. Another random shiny. But actually, Mareep is an interesting find. You see, it may be pink, but when it evolves, it's still pink. But when it evolves for a second time, purple. Now, am I a hypocrite for evolving this Mareep like I said I wouldn't do for Fampy earlier? Yes, but I don't care, because Ampharos has to be the best looking purple shiny, probably in existence. So, change my diaper. And with that, we have now completed two shiny rainbow teams. So for real this time, this is where our story ends for the day. Last year, I caught a shiny rainbow. This year, I caught two. So maybe next year, I'll do three. Who knows? Make sure to like and subscribe. Alright, bye bye.